Don't you wanna have fun? Fool around with someone. Don't you wanna have fun? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty thousand bucks. Hey guys, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guys, I have done some crazy stuff in my book selling career. I have bought some crazy hauls, but this one might top it. <laughs> I have just bought ten thousand books. Oh, that is right. You heard that correctly. Not 1,000. <laughs> 10,000 books. Now, I have been to this lady's house and I have seen her collection, but she has got a lot more than 10,000 books. They're actually Mills and Boone romance novels. <laughs> I can hear exactly what you're all thinking. Are you telling me she's bought 10,000 Mills and Boone books? Where is she going to put all these books? Oh my God, 10,000 books. <laughs> 10,000 books, guys. 10,000 books. <laughs> I am about to dominate the eBay platform with Mills and Boone. Anybody else who's got Mills and Boone listed, you do not stand a chance against me. <laughs> and if you've got them listed, I'm coming for you. <laughs> You know, the Mills and Boons, they are smaller books. So when we say 10,000 books, it's not like 10,000 large fiction novels. It's hard for me to comprehend how much space these are going to take up because this lady is a serious Mills and Boone collector. In fact, she's probably the biggest collector in the whole of Australia. She is only missing about 60 books in the entire Mills and Boone collection, which has been going since the early 1900s. She is projecting that she has approximately 50,000 Mills and Boone in her house. I've seen nothing like it. I, I can't even explain it to you. Every single room of her house is filled with Mills and Boone. Through to the hallway, the bedrooms, multiple bedrooms are just bookcases with Mills and Boones. Her living areas have got bookcases and piles of boxes of Mills and Boone everywhere. She's got like this large family room with a snooker table and underneath the snooker table it is just packed. She is about 80 years old. Her family are the one who want her to downsize. I can really sense that she's reluctant to get rid of a lot of these Mills and Boone. I'm going there today to get 10,000, but the possibility is that I can actually obtain more than 10,000 books off her if I would like to buy additional ones, and I don't know, maybe I will. Let's start with 10,000. <laughs> I've bought 60 of these boxes, but I'm not sure if they're going to be enough. sweating i've got the cleavage sweat going on guys <laughs> i need to switch back into a t-shirt oh i don't know what i've done <laughs> i'm crazy i need a drink i know that <sighs> we've been going for like five hours between doing the two trips it's, <laughs> it's a time consuming process to pack them all up count them all get them in the boxes and then for me to get them home call it when you like self-torture yourself <laughs> self-punishment or something oh my goodness I don't even reckon I'm 50% of the way through this haul I reckon maybe this is 40% of it over the next few months you'll you're gonna see me doing and selling <laughs> a whole lot of nanoporn <laughs> that's what it is isn't it <laughs> Mills and Boone is the old nana porn. <laughs> oh, what's a man got to do to get a woman like you? What's a man got to do to touch a woman like you? What's a man got to do? Now that all 
the hard stuff's done. Let's talk the real talk. <laughs> okay, basically, I had to go back the day after and pick up another three car loads. Now, I had 18 boxes in my car each time. So, five car loads, I ended up with nearly 100 boxes of Milton Boone. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, obviously, I couldn't fit all that here in the shed or I just physically wouldn't be able to do the work. I wouldn't be able to photograph. I wouldn't be able to pick orders. I wouldn't be able to work amongst a hundred boxes. There's about 20 of them that have been sitting in my shed. The rest of them have been piled into my living area <laughs> next to my TV, guys. <laughs> It's not ideal. I'm not going to lie. It is not ideal. Okay, well, this is what my lounge room situation is looking like. <laughs> We're currently building an extension on the back of the house. Now, what this extension is, I'll just quickly show you for context. This room here is going to be a new main bedroom. But this room here is actually a storage room for me. This storage room hasn't been designed to be an eBay storage room. <laughs> it's been designed to be like a spare bedroom, kind of like storage for the house because we don't have much storage cupboard space within this house. This extension we are hoping will be finished in about four weeks time, one month. Any of the boxes that I haven't managed to get through, I will be able to store them down in here so they won't be in our personal kind of space, if that makes sense. That is the storage situation for this particular hall. Now, I do have boxes of them out here in the shed. They're piled about three high and they're strategically placed within the shed so that I'm not tripping over them and I can work around them. Every time I empty one of these boxes, I'm going back inside the house and bringing it out and replacing it so that I keep the same amount of boxes basically out here in the shed because I don't like eBay stock and inventory around my personal living areas. So the fact that it's there, it makes me want to get through it even faster and faster. So one of the biggest dilemmas I've got with this haul is I don't want to be just filling my eBay store with only Mills and Boone. Do you know what I mean? I've got a lot of repeat buyers that come back to me and they don't all want sexy Nana Mills and Boones. <laughs> like they, they just don't. I'm fully aware of that. So I've got to find that balance between how many of these I'm actually listing to the how many I'm listing of all the other types of books. So I really want to kind of get it at about a 50% ratio. Every single one of these Mills and Boone is going into my store as a bundle or it's not going in. So what my process has been for the boxes that I've done up to date, which seems to be working, is I'm going through the boxes and I'm putting them into lots. The thing with Mills and Boone is a lot of them come in like little subgenres. So this one is called like Men Made in America. And these ones are the Rodeo Rebel. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to put them into lots of all the same types. And if I don't have enough of the same type, I'm just trying to bundle them up. So they're like a similar era or a similar style, maybe like all the cowboy ones I find trying, trying to do well, or all the ones that are kind of like on the, the pregnancy, the more family orientated ones, I'm bundling those up. So this bench here, how you see it, these are now all waiting to photograph. Each one of these is a bundle. So basically now, lining this up with bundles. The next step is to get them photographed. And once they're photographed, they go out into my back room where I keep all my bundles of books. So I've been slowly trying to get these listed into my store over the last week. Now, this morning, somebody bought seven bundles, same series, but vintage. I think they're 90s, maybe even 80s, Mills and Boons. They've bought seven bundles of them, totaling $166. <laughs> So this is awesome. Like I get to move seven of these bundles almost as soon as I've put them into my store. I think I only put them into my store on Tuesday. So today's Friday, seven bundles, $166. Let's get them. This one, this one, these three, this one, um, and another one around on the first shelf. somebody has just bought all of these in one order <laughs> they got a lot of reading to do guys <laughs> wow Ooh. i just saw another bundle sale come through so i'm gonna grab that okay c4 number 80 good on the top now this bundle that i've just sold it's actually a christmas bundle so i just noticed that a lot of these particular meals and boons had like a christmas 
like theme going to them so i think i made three or four bundles that were all like christmas figuring what a great time of the year to put them up there and hopefully move them got another bundle here there's 23 of the 1990s silhouette temptation books <laughs> so there's 23 in this bundle and i just sold them for 36.99 so just in case you missed it earlier i paid one thousand dollars for 10,000 of these books. So that works out to be 10 cents each. So even a big bundle like this with 23 books, it only costs me $2.30 in my actual cost of goods. So yes, I've sold this for $36.99. I do have to pay shipping in that because it includes the shipping price. It includes the eBay fees, but there's still a lot of profit to be left on these, especially when you times it by the amount of bundles that I'm gonna be able to create from this haul. This is going to be a very profitable haul for me. I probably wouldn't have bought a Mills and Boone haul like this if I didn't have the experience and the knowledge that I feel like I've already got. I have sold a lot of Mills and Boone over the last few years. I'm very familiar with the subgenres of these type of books. I'm familiar for what the pricing that they sell for, the types of bundles, how to photograph them. I feel like going into this haul, like I'm not going blind. I actually feel like quite professional going into this haul. Even though there's 10,000 of them, I actually feel like I'm going to smash through these pretty fast. And that's because of the knowledge that I already have and how much I've worked with these type of books in the past. I like selling it. I like to read it. So I kind of have an interest in it. And I think that really helps when you have a big haul. If you're selling something that you enjoy yourself and you like, it's easier to do it. It makes the work seem less like work, doesn't it? Right, I'm going, guys. <laughs> Come back for more shenanigans in the shed next week. See ya. Bye.